Well, in an effort to cut CO2 emissions, companies nationwide are trying something new. They are capturing those gases and putting them in the ground. Meteorologist Leah Pizzetti with our Environment Northwest team spoke to one Washington-based company using the technology to help a local college reduce its emissions. For a Spokane-based company, a startup goal is now a reality. To capture that CO2 and prevent it from entering the atmosphere and then to repurpose that CO2, find ways to constructively use that CO2. Carbon Quest started just five years ago, and co-founder Dave Curry says their job is crucial in the meantime, while energy moves toward electric. The challenge that the world is facing is the rate at which we're emitting uh, CO2 into the atmosphere exceeds our ability to replace it with uh, uh, renewable sources. Uh, we just can't build enough renewables fast enough. Carbon Quest works with industrial facilities and large buildings. They capture emissions, which are made up of 70% nitrogen, 20% water vapor, and 10% CO2. And then we move into a process which separates the CO2 from the nitrogen and any other gases and oxygen that would be there. Their technology liquefies that CO2 on site then they pick up the liquid. The vehicle will drive up to the building, plug into the wall, extract the liquid CO2 cryogenically into a cryogenic tank in the back of a vehicle. Finally, they inject that liquid CO2 into concrete, where it mineralizes and becomes a solid within that cement. A process that works exceptionally well in the Northwest, where our volcanic ground is full of basalt. In the Pacific Northwest in particular, in Washington, Oregon, and into Canada, into British Columbia and Alberta, it's a, it's a, it's a gold mine of opportunity to do uh, CO2 sequestration geologically. Carbon Quest is working on its first project in Washington State at Eastern Washington University, where they will extract a few thousand tons of liquid CO2 per year from the campus. Dave says globally, recent technological advancements are driving the need for technology and by default, energy. AI is having an order of magnitude, a 10x uh, impact on the amount of energy necessary to support computing functions. So as energy usage goes up, Carbon Quest wants to be there to catch the CO2 emissions as they also inevitably increase. The potential of the planet to sequester CO2 on a massive scale is infinite. For Environment Northwest, I'm meteorologist Leah Pizzetti.